ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ನಾರಾಯಣ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಯೋಗಂ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಗೀತಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಎಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಸೇಸ್ ಹೋ ಅರ್ಜುನ ನೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಅಟೈನ್ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಅಟೈನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಅಟೈನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಯು ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ so many bodies any more this will be the last body for you that means you are going to be relieved from the cycle of birth and death you will be relieved from this clutch so that is called mukti or moksham otherwise it is called bandham now the moksham should be your ultimate goal for this life now you are traveling through this body you have your ultimate goal as mukti now in this travel you will have to do so many things you will have to perform so many duties and activities according to vedas vedas gave nitya karma naimittika karma kamya karmas there are some karmas activities which you have to do day to day there are some karmas which you will have to do occasionally there are some karmas which you will have to perform out of desire so all these karmas you have to perform in your journey but you will have to make sure you have to be very careful about none of your activity should cause any hindrance any obstacle to your final goal that much care you have to take that care how to take i am now going to tell you now as i said you will have to do nitya karma naimittika karma kamya karma while doing those karmas what you have to think is do not claim that i am doing the moment if you think that i am doing that causes bandham but your goal is moksham you should not be inviting any kind of bandham right that is why don't think that i am doing but you think that paramatma is making me do it i am an instrument in the hands of paramatma if you think that that will not cause bandham that that is the first uh, care that you have to take and uh, while performing your duties while doing all these karmas naturally our attention our focus will go towards the result of the action do not let it go like that there will be result whether you want or not whether you seek or not there will be result all that you have to do is if you seek the result that will cause bandham again but your goal is moksha you have to remember that if i if my attention is going towards result this will cause 
bandham to me and this will cause any hindrance to for reach my goal if you remember this your focus towards result will be withdrawn that is second care and now as i said there will be definitely some results after you see the result do not claim that because i have done see look at all these results because of my duty because of my karma because i did that this many results came do not claim like that if you claim that way again that will cause bandham so do not claim like that and remember my words so that no karma that you are performing will cause any bondage now this is third care and the last one you may think that because there are so many rules regulations restrictions i do not want to do anything no don't say like that you can never neglect you can never ignore vedic prescribed activities you have to perform if you ignore them if you say that i do not want to do them that again causes bondage so that is why don't claim that i am doing don't pay your attention towards result of the action and don't claim that all the results are because of me and don't ever say that i will not do these activities if you can take care of if you can take these four careful steps while performing your day to day occasional all activities no action will cause any bondage to you you will definitely be eligible for moksham like this shri krishna paramatma instructing how to lead our life how to perform our activities so that none of the our actions would cause any bondage to us and none of our actions would cause any hindrance to our ultimate goal of life having shri krishna paramatma's teaching running in our thoughts now let us repeat the shloka karmanyeva adhikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phala hetur bhuhu mate sangostva karmani vom as an essence of entire bhagavad gita in 18th chapter from 65th to 69th shloka shri krishna paramatma strongly recommending all of us to do eight things krishna paramatma saying that if we do those eight things we will become his most beloved devotees and then he will liberate all of us from all kind of sins that is why every day let us respond back to shri krishna paramatma like this ho shri man narayana as you said i shall keep on thinking about you ho shri man narayana as you said i shall become your devotee ho shri man narayana as you said i shall keep on performing all my duties as your service ho shri man narayana as you said i shall keep on remembering the fact that i am your belonging and i shall keep doing namaskaram to you 
for shriman narayana as you said i shall surrender to you alone unconditionally for shriman narayana as you said i shall not grieve any more for shriman narayana as you said i shall keep on remembering your teachings every day by reading at least one gita shloka ho shriman narayana as you said i shall keep on spreading shrimad bhagavad gita among all the devotees ho shriman narayana i shall do as you say i shall behave as you like i shall keep on working for you करिष्ये वचन तव जय श्री मन्नारायण ए स्पेशल रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल डिवोटीज इन ऑल थिंग्स इन आवर लाइफ वी वांट इमीडिएट एंड इफेक्टिव रिजल्ट्स टू अचीव दिस लेट अस स्पेंड 1 मिनट डेली एंड रीड नारायण शास्त्र in order to obtain narayana astram go to narayana astram website which is www.narayanastram.org and provide your name and email in the registration you will receive a narayana astram pdf to the email you provided in the pdf there is a ramayana shloka a gita shloka and a vishnu nama the three of these put together is called narayana astram everyone receives a different combination of these shlokas when everyone reads to their narayana astram daily along with 24000 devotees one round of sampurna ramayana parayana 33 rounds of shrimad bhagavad gita parayana 24 rounds of shri vishnu sahasranama stotra parayana is completed every day this is such a remarkable and extraordinary outcome that comes out of doing this every single day that's why you and your family members immediately go and obtain your narayana astram jai shri man narayana